Hello, Year 7. Today uh, is a very important lesson. We're going to be learning about like terms, okay? And this is a really important part of the algebra that you learn this term. Uh, uh, very essential thing. So uh, very important lesson. We've got quite a few questions to get through today. Um, so remember, you can always pause the video and re-listen to things uh, if you want uh, to stop or write something down or have a go at the question yourself. Uh, and you can go back and re-listen to it um, if you need to. All right, so like terms is what we're talking about today. First of all, we've got four sort of key things that we need to know. Um, the first thing is what is a term? So in algebra, we call a term uh, a group, uh, anything that's a group of numerals, so numbers and pronumerals multiplied together. So an example of a term would be, say, 3x or 3 times x, which, of course, is the same as 3x. OK, another example of a term could be 5b, which is 5 times b. Another example of a term might be 12a b, which is 12 times a times b. OK, they're all multiplied together. That is a term. Another example of a term could be 512 x squared y. So we've got 512 times x times x times y. The two x's become x squared. They're all multiplied together. That is a term. OK, so that's the first thing we need to know. If you've got a group of things multiplied together, you've got a term. Now, a like term is a specific kind of term uh, when you're comparing two different terms. And you want to know whether they're like terms or unlike terms. Like terms have all of the same pronumerals with the same powers multiplied together. So 3x and 5x, they have a different numeral, but they have the same pronumeral. And there's no other pronumerals that either of them are missing. So those are like terms. You can give them a tick, like terms. Uh, if I had, uh, let's say, 2ab, and then I had 5ab. Okay, we've got different numerals again, but uh, a is there, b is there. They've got all the same pronumerals. Uh, they are like terms. OK, now if I had, let's say, 7AB and then 2A and there was no B multiplied there, those are not like terms because they don't have all of the same pronumerals. So that is not a like term or they're unlike terms. Even though they both have an A in common, they don't have all of the same pronumerals. Uh, let's talk about a couple of other examples. If I've got 5x squared, and then I've got 12x squared, okay, they both have an x, uh, and they're both that x is squared in both instances. That is a like term. If I have 2x and 7x squared, they both have an x, but they're not the same power. One is x to the power of 1, or just x, and one is x to the power of 2. So those are not like terms. Okay, now finally, it doesn't matter what order the uh, letters are multiplied in. Uh, so if I had 2AB and 9BA, it has still has the same pronouns, A and B. So those are like terms. Okay, so it doesn't matter what order you write your pronumerals, as long as they're all multiplied together, you've got the same pronumerals, you've got the same powers, you have like terms. Okay, so there, that's a whole bunch of examples. We're going to do some more examples in a moment. Uh, now, this final point is what we're going to get to today. We can only add and subtract terms when they are like terms. You cannot add and subtract terms if they are not like terms. You just have to leave them as they are. When we add and subtract like terms, we add and subtract their coefficients 
only. The coefficient is a big word for the number out in front of that term. Okay, what it is, what number you're multiplying that term by. So when you're adding and subtracting like terms, we just look at the coefficients and you add and subtract those coefficients. Let's do some examples of this. So for this first one here, we've got 7x plus 3x. The coefficient of the first term is 7. The coefficient of the second term is 3. And we have like terms because both of them just contain an x. So we can add and subtract them. So first thing, check whether they're like terms. Secondly, what are their coefficients? So all we need to do is go 7 plus 3, which is 10. And then the x still stays there. We don't get x squared or anything like that. We've got 7x and we've got 3x. We add them together and we've got 10x. I want you to imagine that the algebraic term, the pronoun is like an apple. If I have seven apples and I have three apples, I then will have 10 apples. And the apples still stays there, just like the pronoun does. Okay, uh, for B, I've got 9W and I've got minus 3W. They're like terms. They have the same algebraic uh, pronouns. Uh, so I just subtract the coefficients. So 9 minus 3 becomes 6W. Okay. Uh, now for C, I have 7X plus 9W. They are not like terms. Bubba can't add, can't subtract. So guess what? They actually, the answer stays the same. I just leave it as 7x plus 9w. I can't simplify anymore because we can't add if the terms are not like terms. Okay, D. Now this one is tricky. We've got 8y minus y. We've got to think of the coefficients. The first coefficient is 8, but the second coefficient is actually 1, okay? Because if I have y, it's the same as 1 times y, but we don't need to write 1 times y, we just write y. We need to remember, though, that the coefficient is 1, so this will be 8 minus 1, which gives us 7y. The y doesn't disappear, we just do 8 minus 1 knowing that the 1 is not needed to be written in front of the y, okay? If you've just got 1 of something, it's just y. Or if you have 1x, it just becomes x. If you have 1w, it just becomes w. Okay, uh, for e, 6k plus 7, okay? We don't have like terms because the 7 doesn't have a k, uh, so we just leave it as it is, 6 plus 7. We can't add those together, we can't simplify, we leave it as it is. Okay, let's look at a few more examples. So if I've got 8n minus 11n, I have like terms, I do 8 minus 11, okay, and just like normal, we get negative numbers. So 8 minus 11 will give me minus 3, and then I still have my n, so minus 3n is my answer. Okay, minus 3b plus 7b, we have like terms, we can add them. Uh, so minus 3 plus 7 will give me 4b. Okay, and then for part c here, I've got minus 4x squared minus 5x squared. Do I have like terms? Yes, I do, because x squared is common to both. I have all the same pronumals and powers. So minus four minus five is minus nine, and then x squared at the end. Okay, let's look at some more. Minus four f minus five f plus six f. They're all like terms. They all contain the uh, same pronumals. So I just simply go minus four minus five, which is minus nine f. Okay, and I've still got to plus the six f. Uh, so minus 9 plus 6 is minus 3f as my final answer. Okay, break it up into steps, one step at a time if you've got multiple things to do. Uh, for B, I need to be really careful. I've got qr minus 8rq plus 3rq. And I've got to ask myself, are these like terms? Have a think for a sec whether you think they're all like terms or not. The answer 
is they are like terms because QR is the same as RQ. The order doesn't matter as long as you have the same pronumerals with the same powers. So this will be 1RQ minus 8RQ plus 3RQ. So 1RQ, I could write that in if I want to remind myself, 1RQ minus 8RQ is going to be 7RQ. And then I've got to add 3RQ still. So I get minus 4RQ. Okay, the pronumerals don't change. We're just adding, subtracting the coefficients when they are like terms only. Okay, so for these last few examples, what we have to do is we have to identify which terms are like terms in the whole expression. Okay, and then add and subtract the ones that are like and leave the ones that are not like. Okay, so what you can do is you could circle or maybe square or underline the terms that are like terms and then leave the terms that don't have any like terms. So I have 6m and I have 2m, but I have a minus 7 there as well. I'm going to underline these two terms because they're the like terms. The 7 or the minus 7 doesn't have any like terms. Okay, and this is a plus 2m. Okay, so all I've got to do is I'm going to go 6 plus 2. I ignore the minus 7 because it's not a like term. Um, and I'm just going to go 6 plus 2, which gives me 8m. And then I put the minus 7 back on at the end there. So I've just looked, I've scanned across, and I've identified the 6m and the 2m alike. I can add those together because I've got a plus 2m in front of the plus, in front of the term. Uh, and then... I need to put back any of the uh, terms that I still have there. Okay, for part B, I've got to identify the like terms. I've got 4x squared y, I've got 5p, and I've got minus 3yx squared. And I realize, hang on, order doesn't matter. 4x x squared y and minus 3yx squared are like terms. Okay, it doesn't matter which order you write them in. So I've got to look at the sign and the coefficient. I've got 4 and I've got minus 3, which will leave me with 1. 4 minus 3 is 1. Now, I can just write that as x squared y. I don't need to write 1x squared y because timesing by 1 doesn't do anything. Okay, so I'm left with x squared y. And then I've got to remember to put my plus 5p back on at the end. Okay, getting pretty complicated here. The last couple of examples, look for like terms, add those like terms together, and then that will be out the way we simplify. So for A, I have minus, I've got 9y, sorry, not minus, and then I've got minus 3, uh, sorry, I've got 9x, and I've got minus 3x. They're like terms. But I also have plus 7 and plus 10, and they're like terms because they just have numbers. There's no pronumerals there, so they're like terms. So I have to do these separately and add them uh, together correctly. So I've got 9x minus 3x, which becomes 6x. And then I've got 7 plus 10, which just becomes 17. So you add the like terms separately and then put it all together at the end. For part B, I've got 5a. I've got minus 3a. And then I've got plus 7b and plus 2b. I need to do these separately. So 5a minus 3a becomes 2a, and then 7b plus 2b becomes 9b. So I've got two a's in total, and I've got nine b's in total. We're just looking at those terms separately, adding like with like uh, to get our final answer. Good luck with the questions today. Okay, remember you can always come back to this video and uh, let me know if you have any problems. See you later.